G'day folks, I'm going to show you the basic takeoff and climbing procedures of the Boeing 737 400 in Flight Simulator 2004. Things such as the outside air temperature, air pressure, and your aircraft's payload weight will affect what your takeoff speed is and the speeds when you retract up the flaps. I've got it set on fair weather and the default payload weight. I haven't made any changes there. And we're at Melbourne International Airport. Alrighty, set up to take off, put flaps to 5 degrees, auto brakes on, eject the takeoff, and landing lights on. We'll add a bit of a pitch trim, just a few clicks. Just helps ease the plane off the runway on takeoff. Have your brakes set and increase throttle to 40% and 1. Once the engines have stabilised, release brakes and increase to 95%. You find it pretty hard to get right on what you want, but plus or minus 1% is alright. At 140 knots, ease back on the stick. 154 knots, you will lift up. Pitch up to 20 degrees. That should take about 6 seconds. Positive radio climb, landing gear up. Passing 1000 feet, pitch down at 15 degrees. Retract flaps to 1 degrees and Rotor decreased to 3,000 feet, retract flaps all the way and pitch down to 10 degrees. You can also take the auto brakes off. Accelerate to 250 knots and maintain 250 knots until you reach 10,000 feet. Once we approach 250, we'll just pitch up a bit around 12 13 degrees just to maintain 250 at 10,000 feet we can turn off the landing lights and pitch down to 6 degrees to accelerate to anywhere between 280 and 310 knots. I'll go about 280 so I can reach my cruising altitude which is 33,000 as fast as I can. So I'll pick up a bit now just to maintain 280 knots. I like to not use the autopilot until I pass 10,000 feet so I can put it on now. I've already got it set up to the values that I want. I'll put on the auto throttle and also the attitude hold. Alright. Just about to reach our cruise now, altitude of 33,000. Okay, so now the here will ease back throttle to about 70% in one. 
72% maybe or you can use the auto throttle like I am and I'm going to switch it over to Mac 0.74 as my cruising speed that's pretty standard well according to Wikipedia And that's that. See you folks.